Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I have a special one for you today. Uh, we are playing what I think is the first filmed round at Northwood Black. This was the second time I played the course. I've now played it three times. I tried to get a little bit of knowledge before I tried to go shoot a video and explain things I didn't really uh, know much about. But if you're here and new to the channel, my name is Gary Patton and I'm sponsored by MVP. I've been doing YouTube for about two years now, and this has been the most excited I've been for a video for a while, to say the least, because obviously we've heard Northwood Black is coming for a while. Uh, you might ask yourself, how do they make Northwood even harder? They definitely did it. Uh, the day I took this on, it was, it was like 95 degrees, very humid. I was rushing against uh, daylight. And you'll notice that the course is very, very fresh. So I think as it gets beat in, it'll become a lot better in general, but there's still a lot of good holes here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So let's hop into the video and check out Northwood Black. Here's hole one, right there, downhill, about 460, 450. Don't hit it. Oh my God, go in the basket. All right, so here on hole two, so my wife gets up there in position, tee pad over a creek, up a hill where she's near, I wanna land over in there, and then I believe it's an Anheuser to the basket. All right, from where I landed, basket's down there. Should be about 280. So yeah, we're trying to film this round. It's uh, 6.15. Siri thinks I'm talking to her. 6.15, trying to get this round done. It's gonna be a grind. We've got like two hours and 20 minutes of daylight. You might have been wondering why did I not throw a putter there for the upshot? Mainly because I would rather just make sure I have a putt, you know? It might be a little long, but that's okay. All right, guys, so uh, there was the inaugural hex flight on the channel. I was 287 on a turnover, held the line. I was coming out of it a little bit, uh, just was able to hit my jump putt from, I think, 13 paces, so about 38, 39 feet. So now here we are on hole number three. Let's zoom in here where she's walking. See that big tree right there? Want to miss that tree, push down the hill and go right. Then you'll essentially be able to throw a backhand stall shot. Uh, the basket's over there. This hole drops uh, drastically in elevation as well. I think that was pretty good. All right, so here's the gap we just shot right there. Come here, there's the big tree. You guys see this elevation drop? My drive looked really right, but it actually ended up right down in here. My upshot, my wife's telling me to go to her. I'll explain it to you. There's a sycamore tree right there. The uh, basket is, is right down by there. So it looks like I have that line or maybe that line, but I like her outside line better. I missed my line a little bit tight there, which which is okay because I threw the reactants of the Tesla. I got through. I should also say, you don't want to go too far straight off the uh, the T or your upshot. So if you go too far straight, this is all a drop off. It's hard to see because it's so green. Here's a good implication. See how that drops off into there into a creek bottom way down there. A couple things I can do, but I'm just gonna try to float one over the top close and just see the par. Maybe? Ah. 
All right, here we are on tee pad number four. Where she's walking down, you want to get this gap here, push straight with the touch hyzer, and then you can have an upshot at the at the green. I hit the gap around the tree. Thought I threw it really well, but I actually ended up short into this crap. <sighs> From where she's at right there, the basket's actually around this corner over a creek deal, like right over, right over there. Oh, good kick. Very good kick. Oh, that's terrible. So as you can imagine, grip was not easy there. It slipped out of my hand. Um, there's nothing much I can do here besides lay up around the corner and try to take a par though. Here's hole six from the tee. Where she's at is kind of like the three fourths way of your drive. You want to finish to the right a little bit. If it didn't fade out too I was hard. Say, it looked really good if it didn't. All right, so I got like 270 to the woods where she's at. All right, so here we are. Basket's behind her. You can probably see if it lifts up here. There you go. Uh, I don't know. I'm playing just kind of a luck shot here. Like throw it in the middle. Hopefully it flips a little bit. Goes in the hyzer gap and we're good. Knew this newest, coolest par three here, right there, over a ravine, through a tight gap, down into a bowl. Creek on the right, berm on the left. Turned it too much. Here we are on hole nine's fairway. I don't really remember this all that well, but I'm trying to go past her. It's like 7.30. Just get in the fairway and then uh, have a look at the next shot. All right, from my disc right there. Basket straight down the tunnel. 3.40. All right, so there was the front nine. I don't know if we're gonna do a two-part video or one-part video. So now we're moving on to the course, old hole seven for gold, but now hole 10. All right, you guys are familiar with this one already. Now you see both baskets are in because we have a old layout and new layout playing. Stop, Black Ace. I chained out of the other basket. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I uh, hit the basket Greg's touching, ended up in circle two. I missed Yeah. 
so close. I forgot to update about where you go after old hole seven, new hole 10, you just go play 11 and 12 as you normally would. Dang it, I hit the angle good, but I like didn't let it work. All right, so after you're done with hole 12, now you go past 11, or, um, 13's old tee to two new holes. All right, here we are on the tee on hole 13. Want to push a hyzer at those trees, miss them to the left, and the upshot will have to clear a pond. So here's my drive. Let's take a look here and show you what's going on. Oh yeah, I guess the T is back there around the corner. So a new addition here at Northwood, I don't know where the hell it came from, but there is legitimately a pond. The basket's right there. Check the screen out, guys. All right, so you probably have about 25 feet to the water. All right, you're fine there. All right, see where she's at right there, guys? You wanna almost hit that backdrop, and it's gonna take a 90 degree turn to the left and be about 550 feet from there. All right, 500 feet from a disc here. Having a having a bad relationship with this today. Let's throw a good shot. That's an ace. Oh come on, do it. Oh, didn't, didn't want to finish exactly. All right, I'm like 25, 30 deep. All right, after getting extremely lucky on like two of those holes, I think, uh, the last hole for sure. Here we are on the new hole 18. That's what the shot looks like off the tee. I would describe this as a glidey hyzer. And if you get far enough, uh, force Annie over a blind hump down a chute to the basket. Uh, and if not, you can kind of throw a forehand to layup too. So we'll see where we're at. I'm gonna throw either fairway driver or mid-range off the tee and see if I can get myself at least a par. All right, there she is here. My drive landed there. So there's the tree we were seeing in the middle of the fairway. I hit that pretty good. Ideal landing zone is here. So I have a shot to go down at the basket. All right, so there was the first playthrough that I filmed on Northwood Black. Uh, my first round at this course, playing safely, I shot around a 72 or 73, which absolutely felt like 1,000 rated. Uh, most of that's 
I mean, I think when it's all said and done, a 72 will be a thousand rated. Um, but it's cra It's just crazy to say that because it's, you know, it's four over on that layout. In this round, I think I shot, I think I shot four down. So I think I shot a 64 or a 65. I had a couple bogeys in there. I, there's no scorecard up for the layout yet, but I birdied holes one, two. I bogeyed hole nine though. And then I birdied the new 14, the one over the little cow pond, and then the old 14, 15, so 16, 17, and 18. I birdied all three of those. I got extremely lucky on hole, old hole 15, so 17, and went on the inside gap around, uh, around my wife. It's very rough now, so if you go play it, expect it to get better soon. Um, in my opinion, there's maybe like three or four holes. I, like if I had to have any beef with a hole out there, it would be hole six. It's par five where it's a full turnover and then you have to lay up and then you have to lay up or I guess throw some just ridiculous uh, flex forehand shot. There's not really a ceiling yet. I'm interested to see how the hole will shape up. I would love to see the basket to the right of where it's currently at. Um, it's just literally like fish hook shaped now. So it's very, very uncomfortable or forced feeling um, that last shot there. But other than that, I don't really have any problems with the holes. I think hole number eight is a beautiful par three. It's almost 400 feet, but just a nice mid shot. And it's uh, over a ravine, down a hill. It's, it's just shaped great by the landscape. Um, I, I think hole two is a nice, comfortable par four, which you don't get that often out there. Um, five is an interesting par four as well, where you kind of just go straight down a tunnel and then it's immediate uh, 90 degree turn. Uh, Maybe, okay, I don't like the long pad on hole number 15. It's a part, it's the last part five you play. It's just like uncomfortably straight to begin with. And then it kind of turns a little bit, but continues on straight. And then it's just a 90 degree, 500 foot um, shot after that, which is just, it's interesting. I would almost rather see that played from the short pad as a, as a hard part four. Cause I think it's around 900 feet or 800 feet. Uh, where you could play from the par four and it'd be like 690, 720-ish foot par four, I believe. But either way, it's it's made our already, you know, already blessed disc golf area even more rich. So we have another gym to play in the area. And uh, I think it's gonna be very, very good to test everyone at Ledstone and maybe Worlds in the, in the future. I think we're hosting like Masters Worlds in a couple years here, so. Look forward to that, guys, and I hope this was very insightful for you and gave you uh, a good first look at Northwood Black. Uh, there's a flex tournament going on. I guess I released these at 12 o'clock on Friday morning, so there will be a flex tournament going on the day you guys see this, if you're watching it when it comes out. And the first tournament, the iOS Northwood Open, will be on uh, the Saturday after you watch this. So thanks, as always, guys, for uh, stopping by the channel and watching this video. Thanks to my sponsors, MVP, Plastic Addicts, and Paragon, and I will see you guys in the next one.